Hello, welcome to social studies. It's been a while, huh? So I'm gonna do a little review and then we're gonna get started with our lesson. You will need your textbook and your workbook. However, I don't want you opening them just yet. I wanna review a little bit. Do you guys think clear back to when we were in school? Remember we were talking about this map, the new world and the old world? We were talking about um, Christopher Columbus and then we were starting to talk about the Englishmen. And, oh, I had my wrong picture, sorry. And then the old world and the new world men. And we were talking about how they dress differently, how their hair was different. Okay, remember that? So we're gonna talk a little bit more today about the woodland people. I'm gonna read you a little story, so I want your listening ears on, okay? So think clear back when God made the earth. He gave us all that we need to live. What did he make? He made water and the land. And what did he put on the land? All different kinds of vegetation, so different plants, trees. And then what else? Animals, lots of animals, okay? He gave us all that we need to live. The Native Americans wisely used natural resources that God gave them, such as trees back in my picture here, okay? I'm gonna adjust my screen just a tiny bit, okay? Um, they made, okay, I'm sorry. Um, they used natural resources that God gave them from things in the woods. They made uh, food, clothing, homes, and even decorations. The woodland people had no stores to buy the things they needed. No Walmart. Mm -mm. There were no factories to make the things that they wanted. All the things that they had were found in the woods or nearby the river, nearby the water. Okay. Go ahead and turn in your books to page 138, I believe it is. 138, find it for me. And we're gonna read about the woodland people and what they did. So the woodland, I want you to follow along. Um, at the top, there's bold words says living in the woods. And that's the title of the chapter and section that we're reading here, this lesson, living in the woods. So follow along with your finger. I'm gonna read the first line and then we're um, gonna talk about the picture, okay? So the woodland people lived in America long before men came from England. Each woodland family worked together. Their homes were made from trees. They made clothes from deer hides. The men were hunters and fishers. The women made mats, pots, and baskets. Now take a look at the picture. In the background, do you see corn growing? Mm -hmm. So they probably had some gardens, right? And then you see another garden uh, in the front there. I see a tree. I see a little woodland girl carrying sticks. I also see an Indian guy, and what's he doing? Looks like he's stretching some leather or animal skin hide, maybe drying it out so that he could use it for clothing or their homes. Now, if you take a look back um, behind his leather skin there, you see their home. Now, these homes were called a wigwam. Can you say wigwam? It's kind of a silly word, isn't it? Yeah. And they were made from sticks and the leather that he has, the animal skin. So that's just a different kind of house. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's scroll down here and go on moving my screen. Go ahead and look at page 139. And I see two of their wigwams in the background. I see one of the Indian men has a spear and it looks like he was doing what? Fishing, right, down by the river. So they went to get food and they used to cook. Remember, I think I showed you a picture of this, the little triangle that they would make and hang the pot and cook food in there. Maybe soup or different things, cook the fish over. I see a girl carrying a pot, maybe she's water in there. And another girl playing with a dog. And behind all of that, what do you see? Lots of land, but lots of trees too, right? And they would cut down the trees and use wood and the sticks for different things. Let's go ahead and read this. Um, page as well. And then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some items that I brought to share with you. And then I'll have you do a workbook page. Okay. So follow along with your finger at the top of one, three, nine. 
boys practice running and shooting bows and arrows. Let me click screen, change screens here. They practice those. Do you think they made these back then? Mm -hmm. Remember, they had to make everything that they needed. Girls pulled weeds in the gardens and found sticks for the fire. The family used the resources from the woods for food and to make homes and clothes. Resources are things we find around us to use. Hmm. Now, I want you to notice the word resources in your book is a dark color. That's called a bold word. And that just means that word is really important, probably one that would be on the test, so that's when you really have to pay attention to that word. Okay. Now, I brought a couple things I want to share with you. If you, well, hold on. If you go back to that page and you look, all the stuff there they made. They made their little, um, it looks like a dog toy, probably out of some kind of skin too. Their pots they probably made out of clay that they found in the earth. Their clothes they made. Their houses they made. Everything that they found, they made so that they could use it. That's really cool. Took a lot of work back then, I'm sure. Okay, so I brought a couple things I want to share with you, and we're going to talk about them. So we talked about the word resources, and if you think back to our story, we said God made everything in the world, the land, the water, the animals. He put everything here that we needed. Resources um, are things we find around us to use. So that is what they did. They found different things they could use in the earth, and we're going to talk, I'm going to show you a couple different things, and you can tell me if they're that you, if you would find this stuff in the earth or if it's man-made, okay? So the first object is this. What's this? If you said a plastic spoon, you're correct. Would you think that they made this or found this down by the river? Probably not, no. It's made from plastic, that's man-made. All right, how about this guy? What's this? Show it to you. It's a basket, a wooden basket, but it's also, I think they made you do use different things called reeds that they would find in different stronger grasses down by the river and they would take those and weave them and make little baskets, pretty cool. So this was definitely something that was more, they used the things from the earth and made this, okay? How about this? You think they made this? Probably not back then. I think this was still too early for them to make metal and necklaces out different shapes. So they'll say this one's man-made. How about this? It's probably in your kitchen. If you said a wooden spoon, you're absolutely correct. Do you think this is something they could have made back then? Absolutely. And how about this? Hey, what's coming up? Easter. <laughs> yeah, an Easter basket. Do you think they have this line around? Do you think they could have made this? The woven part, yes, but if you look close, it's shiny material. It's made from a plastic. They probably didn't have this lying around, okay? So that's no. And then this. Now this one might be a little tricky for you. It's a bracelet, and it's stretchy. It's yellow, but if you look really close, what do you see? What are they made from? Seashells. I think seashells, or if you had, if your mom has some jewelry lying around with maybe some stones in, like a, a nice um, natural looking stone, they would have found those down by the riverbed or the ocean, depending on where they were located. And they would have used these to make jewelry or to use and shape into maybe a weapon or different things that they needed, depending on what they needed back then. Okay, all right, so what I want you to do now is, so we see this girl in the first page, if you look back on 138, gathering sticks for their fire. And we see this guy has a, um, a spear that they probably made to hunt. She has a pot that they made, so they made all kinds of interesting things. Okay. Now, I want you to get out your workbooks. And I don't think you need your textbooks anymore. You can close those. Um, 
you're going to turn to page 133 in your workbook. And I'm going to actually make my screen disappear a little bit so that and the directions say on page 133, um, you are supposed to circle. So you're going to probably need two crayons or markers or whatever, blue and red. And it says to circle in blue the things the woodland people used for food. And we didn't really talk too much about that, but they would have um, used fish, which is in the picture, berries, deer, and shellfish. Okay. Um, and shellfish is like shrimp, that kind of thing, down and out of the water. And then circle in red the things they made from a resource in the woods, such as some things we talked about, um, a basket, their homes, clothing, and a canoe. So go ahead and do, so you're going to do blue for things um, that are food, and then red things that they made from a resource in the wood. And when you're done, you guys can um, just go ahead and take a picture and email that to me at your convenience, okay? See you next time.